Hey YouTube, welcome to my vlog. Um, first, I want to—I wish to apologize for the bad quality. I am shooting it on my web. This video on my webcam. I am using my Zoom only because my built-in mic definitely, definitely sucks. So I'm not going to use that. Uh, but my webcam kind of makes me look red sometimes. Like I'm extremely pale. Like I need to go out in the sun. Uh, so, um. Some sad news to report. The YouTuber Happy Cabby has died. He died on Sunday. Um, and now I've met... I knew Happy Cabby from back in 2008. Um, I actually met him through a friend of mine. My friend did not actually know him, but... Uh, I made a joke and he went, Ooh, this YouTuber... Um, actually has a video on that particular thing. He's talking about what other YouTubers have done, but... And so I went and I saw him, and, and I watched some of his other videos, and then subscribed. Um, and sh shortly after, uh, he... Actually, I, I uh, went into one of his, I believe it was Stickam. It was either Stickam or Blog TV. And kind of got to know him there, and I started showing up at more and more of his Stickham and Blog TV shows, which makes me feel really old because those those two websites haven't been around in years. I forget Stickham went away in 2010, uh, and I think Blog TV in 2012. Um. I originally wasn't going to make this video at all, but I started watching a lot of the memorial videos as they went up, and for the most part, he was getting a lot of shit. Uh, I don't mean to be blunt about it, but that's pretty much was it. He was getting a lot of shit. In some cases, I understand it. I mean, if what I heard about Agent of Doubt is true, I'm very surprised that he posted a video as nice as he did. Um, it, now it wasn't a good video, but, you know, he didn't just throw Happy Cabby completely under the bus for it, and if it had happened to me, I can't say I would have been that nice. Um, but, for the most part, I don't know what happened in the last couple years of his life. I lost contact with Happy Cabby. Shortly close to the end of his tenure with um, Spike Bravo. At the time, Spike Bravo was still living with him. And uh, I just couldn't stand uh, Spike Bravo much anymore. So I just stopped communicating with Happy Cabby. I wound up going into one or two of his um, blog TV shows. Not blog TV, but Google Plus Hangouts and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I can't see it being more than two or three that I went to. So, and I definitely will say I actively separated myself from him after he befriended Brett Keen um, for various reasons. And then I almost never... I almost uh, made no attempt to recontact Happy Cabby. I made a comment or two on his videos as he uploaded them, but that was it. So, I know he wasn't doing well in the last couple years. I, f uh, I know he was having a lot of problems, not only with his health, but with um, the people that surrounded him. In the end, he did not keep good company. Uh, so, I hope that in death he finds peace that he didn't have in life. Um, so, I was thinking of every YouTuber that I met through him, either directly or indirectly. Um, the biggest one I could think of is Kit from MMO Anthropology, uh, from youtube.com forward slash Prince of Mill Ave. Um, other YouTubers that I met through him was Sarah Parker, uh, And several, several smaller YouTubers, Bullet to Kitty. Uh, I just think a couple others that no longer post videos anymore. 
So, um, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to straight upload it. Uh, so, I, like I said, I hope he finds peace in death. Uh, and until I see you guys next time, have a good day. Oh, and I will post links to, uh, Tia the Prissy one, the one that announced his death in the video description, as well as a couple of videos that I've seen that memorialized him. That way he doesn't get too much flack in death. All right. Have a good day.